Hey y'all, it's AGP here, and it's Friday, so y'all know it's time for another AGP informational, you know? Um, you know, my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that I try to give y'all content for y'all, try to make your lives easier, and we're all stuck inside right now anyways, so you know, what the hell? So basically, there was an article that came out today about on CCN.com talking about how Sony has said that Right now, the games that they have slated for release are supposed to come out on the dates that they've said that they're going to be coming out. Now, you guys know what games they're mostly talking about without dropping names. is The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima, which are supposed to come out in May. For Last of Us Part 2, it's supposed to be May 29th, and for Ghost of Tsushima, it's supposed to be June 26th. But Sony did admit that the pandemic risk delays. Now, of course we know this, nothing has been delayed since the pandemic has grown, but we know that there is a possibility because that only makes sense, right? Everybody has been taken out of the offices and everybody has to work from home. As I stated in my Cyberpunk 2077 video, CD Projekt Red has all their workers working from home, but they've updated the infrastructure and technology so that they can still develop Cyberpunk 2077 so that it comes out on September 17th when it's supposed to come out. Uh, I assume all the companies have done that, um, especially since the, if they have the money and resources, uh, they should definitely have been able to make it so people can work from home which is you know a given because right now we're not supposed to be congregating at all and you know being in an office with a bunch of other people would definitely increase your chances of catching this 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 coronavirus right now the good thing is that even though we're at risk we have we're at risk of delays even without this we would have been at risk of delays because obviously there were supposed to be a ton of games that were supposed to come out between january and april of this year and like they all got delayed some further than others uh but you know marvel's avengers got delayed cyberpunk 2077 got delayed last of us part 2 got delayed final fantasy 7 remake got delayed the list the list goes on obviously some got delayed for like pushed back further than others then that was before any of this hit so it only makes sense that after this hits that the risk of delays goes up or the chances of delays goes up but right now it's great because they're saying that the last of us part two is very unlikely to get delayed uh, so may 29th we should be seeing it and and in the coming weeks the last of us part two they said has is probably going to go gold if y'all don't know what going gold is it means the master disc has been finished so that is before they send that out to all the distributors to make their copies and then they send out to the distributors so that it can sell to us in stores um so that's great if we're that close to it going gold trust me there's no worries about it being delayed because usually stuff gets delayed before it's about to go gold or like way before it's about to go gold um so that is awesome, and it also affects the release of Ghost of Tsushima. Basically, they're saying that if Last of Us Part Two doesn't get delayed, which is very unlikely, then Ghost of Tsushima more than likely won't get delayed because Sony likes to put all their marketing might and power behind one exclusive at a time. So you know they're 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 really smart this year because they're about to ride a crazy wave with Last of Us Part Two, and then if that ever died down which it won't but once it does or because you know it does start to plateau then they'll they'll get another jump with ghost of tsushima because i know we're all waiting to see how good that game is and what it consists of um but you know so right now we're good um i will say that capcom and square enix have been vocal about the fact that they are having issues distributing physical copies of Resident Evil 3 remake and Final Fantasy 7 remake, but that doesn't mean that it, they're gonna be delayed or anything um, It just means that when the game comes out stores may have less copies than they originally intended So if you did pre-order a standard edition, just be ready for that Possibly having issues when the game comes out with getting your copy because if everybody picks theirs up before you do and the copies are limited you might have to wait for the next shipment so if it were me personally, I would probably cancel my standard edition copy and just get the digital copy, the standard edition digital copy online, because then you don't have to worry about going to the stores or anything, or the stores being closed, because that's also a possibility. And a lot of cities, especially New York and different cities in California, have made it so most of these places are closed anyways. The only places that are open are places for necessities like grocery stores and things of that nature. So the only issue that it causes though for, for physical copies for me that i would think was if you got a special edition or or a deluxe edition of some kind or a collector's edition of some kind then that could be problematic because then you might have to wait for 
you know, you might have to wait for them to get your to get your your copy. But the good thing is that right now everything is looking great. Uh, everything should be coming out when it's supposed to come out. Even if it did get delayed, listen, you know, it'd be a valuable, it'd be a valid reason for it to be delayed. I'd prefer them delay it and have people not get sick than you know than try to keep pushing it and. You know, I mean, we'll survive, it, you know, with the delay. It, it would suck, but at the same time, people's safety is always first. So as long as they're safe, I'm cool. But right now, nothing should be being delayed. The Last of Us Part Two will be hitting your consoles on May 29th, and Ghost of Shima will be hitting your consoles on June 26th. But, um, yeah, so, you know, everybody, I hope you are staying safe, staying inside, you know, um, wash your hands, you know, do all the, do all the stuff that, that the... CDC and the World Health Organization are telling you to do because it is real. The numbers do keep growing, but let's let's um let's not even we're not even gonna end it like that. We're gonna end it with uh we're all gonna be okay, and the games are coming out at the right time. So you know that's awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'll be back on Monday with some more gaming info or maybe some gameplay or both. Who knows? You know I haven't decided yet. But I'm gonna catch y'all next time. All right. Love y'all AGP fam. And, you know, if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and comment. Are you worried about, you know, the coronavirus pushing back any of these games even more than they've already been pushed back? Or do you just think we're all going to be, with, like, it'll just be fine and, or, you know, maybe you don't care that much. Uh, but let me know down in the comments and I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Peace. I don't care. You can't stop this.